Hey awesome nerds, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing well. I'm Ella Jean and today I have yet another character design video for you because that is what I spend half my time doing. I have too many characters, please help me. But <laughs> anyway, this one's actually a redesign of a character that I created for a project late last year. There is a video f um, with that on my channel. I don't dig it, maybe don't look at it. <laughs> But yeah, so we're reworking her. Um, she's like an alien mermaid thing in a front lip. Wow. From a mostly water planet. So my main objective with her face this time around was to give her an overall fish-like appearance that she didn't really have in her original design. And that's what I'm working on for like the next two clips because same face syndrome been there done that don't love it so that's something I'm really hard on I will spend a lot of time on the face and you can see early on I jumped into some color exploration <sighs> don't plan on like jumping into it that early ever again I think it kind of messes with it but anyway her character always had those fin like ears so the first thing I really did to try give her that fishy appearance is the big forehead you see going on down the bottom at the moment. Um, I did really like it at first, however it kind of wore off. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for. It looks like the alien emoji and that kind of just not a bad thing. I just, you know, didn't want that for her. So start an entire new sheet sketch through some more faces. Lots of um, profile exploration in this one because I couldn't get the front face to work with me and when all else fails just profile sketches galore. Um, another thing I did try like the face propor face proportion wise I gave her like a small forehead it comes up later on but and like a long the rest of her face is really long. Um, didn't dig that either, it wasn't really what I wanted. I wanted her to have like a little more of an average with air quotes around that proportions or like a smaller-ish face. What I did end up going with was um, I took her, all I did was like t wow, was take her eyes and put them relatively far apart on her head. And lo and behold that gave me the fishy appearance I wanted. So we stuck with it because I like it. Um, I don't know if in the future I might make them a little further apart. I don't know. I'm just, I look at it and I'm like, I could. But probably I might. I probably will. So that is that for the face. Next thing we skedaddle on to is the hair, which I'm doing now. So the first hairstyle I did was a kind of like uh, another go at um, the hair I went with before. Actually the first three retries of um, original concepts of her. Um, I did go with that chunky one that covered her eye before in her first one. Um, it was The idea behind it was that it looked like that chunky slimy seaweed you didn't want to touch but it abs I don't know it's not convenient for a job and I don't know I didn't like it as part of her design I didn't find it as nice as I used to so we had another go the fin I revisited the thin the, the, the fin because that was one of my favorites and in the end it was down to the fin and the hair I went with which ended up being the pixie cut but yeah the fin I really liked the idea but in the end I decided I wanted her to have like proper ish like hair like hair so we didn't we scratched the fin but I'm excited to try use it with something else because in the end I do really like that idea and as I said I end up going with the pixie cup it was just convenient for her job and I think it looks nice with the face shape it just it just felt right in the end so that's the one I went with and I'm not mad about it yet I think she looks uh pretty dang cute so that's all I have to say for this clip and I'll come back when we talk about colour
Louise, here we are. This is the short clip where I explore color in more, a little more. I did some early on, as you saw. Um, that's what the fish picture was for. I found the, the color scheme of this fish. I enjoyed it, so I decided, like, hey, we'll give her a color scheme like this. I tried a few darker and vibrant colors, like, compared to her original design. But in the end, I did keep her rather pale. Like, the blue one... Actually, maybe I'll use that. Sorry. Just thinking now. But, yeah. The green one... <laughs> no. I didn't enjoy that one bit. I ended up keeping her pale, like, in her original design. However, I think it was, like, even more paler than that. It went more to, like, you know the colour of those glow-in-the-dark stickers? It looks more like that. So her skin hue is a little more green and I threw some orange uh, markings on there just for some um, contrast. And I also imagined her skin to be rather translucent so made sure to emphasize that with how much um, pink you could see in her skin and yeah so she has like a lovely ghosty fishy appearance which I'm digging. I'm real enjoying it. Don't mean to pat myself on the back but <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, moving on to her uniform. So, she is part of an investigation team, and you know, that's why her hair wasn't convenient. Fighting bad guys, it's just, it would have been all up in her face. But yeah, so the one I, the uniform I ended up going with wasn't too different from the original design, but um, you can see I'm writing down there. So, okay, um. <laughs> I knew the uniform, it'd have to be functional for her, and that's what um, I was writing down there. Um, the panelling in it, it can be removed, she has gills on like near her ribs, and so that can be removed, so if she needs- if for some reason they need to swim after a villain, they've got her, and the pants can also- the bottom- the bottom pant half can also come off, so it kind of makes like a one piece for her, because her legs, when- in water can become a tail. It's the whole thing. I should really tell you guys about it. It was lots of fun. I enjoyed that project. But yeah, anyway. So besides that, it also needs to be protective. Um, originally it was like just made out of wetsuit material. It's gonna need something a little more protective than that. So maybe some some kind of Kev is it called Kevlar? Kevlar, I think it's called. Slash like some kind of okay some kind of water resistant and maybe bullet resistant material i'll have to figure that out let's do some snooping on the web but yeah um the colors for it i'll quickly talk about that at this point it was just like okay what looks good with the colors i've already given her um i also tried a new coloring um slash painting technique on this drawing and i really enjoyed it i'm going to try use it some more um which I have, actually, with another piece that I'll hopefully get out at the end of this week. But, um, yeah, that one was a bit of a disaster train. But, yeah, so that's kind of it for that. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, thank you for watching it, especially if you've gotten this far. Um, yeah, so I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And I will see you next time. Ella out.